The arguments are over before the nation's highest court. Now we wait to see what happens with Mississippi's 15-week abortion ban as well as the future of Roe v. Wade. WTVH Craig Ford is live outside of the high court in Washington with an update. Good afternoon. If you were watching our news this morning, you saw our live reports and behind me, you saw this crowd gradually grow. I'm going to step out of the shot right now as videographer Alvin Ivey gives you a live look at what the protesters on both sides of the abortion issue are doing right now. Still quite a few folks out here, but the passions may be down just a notch or so from before the arguments made before the high court. What you're about to see are some of the protesters on both sides. And while it's quite a show, the head of Mississippi's only abortion clinic told me what happens outside doesn't really matter. It's what's inside that matters. And it was at 10 o'clock our time, D.C. time, when justices started hearing arguments on both sides of Mississippi's ban on abortions after 15 weeks. The reason everyone's so focused on this particular case is that Mississippi asked the high court not just to enact the state ban, but it asked for the court to overturn Roe v. Wade and Planned Parenthood v. Casey, two court cases that are cornerstones for women in this country to get abortions through most, if not all, of the second trimester. Probably no surprise that some of the liberal justices were very aggressive in the questioning of Mississippi Solicitor General uh, Justice Sonia Sotomayor uh, was the person who got my attention, to be honest with you. But it's a 6-3 conservative majority on the court. That's why many people are thinking, look, something could actually come out of this when the decisions come down sometime in the summer of next year. And interestingly enough, it seemed as though through the question that Justice Brett Kavanaugh, one of the three justices approved or named by former President Trump, indicated that he may be for over or not overturning Roe v. Wade, but allowing the Mississippi ban to somehow stand. And that's what some legal analysts have indicated, that this may be a situation where Roe stands, but it may get watered down, and that could open the door to some more abortion restrictions across America. Of course, we will have much more concerning what's happening here today in the nation's capital. But for now, we are live in Washington with videographer Alvin Ivey. I'm Craig Ford, WTVA 9 News.